we go babes welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Leanne and thanks for watching on today's video I'm going over one of my favorite brands Yves Saint Laurent's new work bag this bag has been around for about a couple years now but I finally just got my hands on it and I bought it from Nordstrom.com and picked it up yesterday so I want to unbox it with you guys and fill it up with um, some of my work stuff that I carry uh, on the daily basis and see how it looks uh, with stuff in it and also you know just to do a review on the bag uh, it's saying I haven't really used it yet since I just picked it up yesterday so I'm so excited to be unboxing this with you guys so if you like to learn more about the Eat tote black tote work bag please keep All watching right, guys so here is the Nordstrom bag um, one of the biggest difference between buying it from Nordstrom.com or Nordstrom's store versus the Issa Laurent store is it doesn't have a box it only comes in the dust bag so it didn't have a dust bag only in the Nordstrom gift bag so I'll just go ahead and take it out this bag's bigger than me so this is the Saint Laurent dust bag and you can already smell the leather that's uh, from the bag through the dust bag so We'll go ahead and take it out. So it's still filled with white paper, but I'll go ahead and take it out for you guys. And it looks like this. How cute is that bag? All right, so let's go ahead and take the paper out. It's a lot of paper in it. Even the paper smells like leather, so. Um, so the great thing about this bag is it looks like a plain black bag. It's very versatile, it's very subtle. It doesn't scream like designer brand, but it has the Saint Laurent logo right here. And this tag right here is what really captured my eye about this bag, because if you wanna be low key, you can have the name covered up so right here which is the best part it has the gold YSL uh, emblem right here so that's my favorite part about this bag and if I want to be more low-key I can just pull it down like that and hide the emblem so I would probably be wearing it like this for the most part and let's just take a look at the inside. So it does come with a little pouch. It's probably where you put your credit cards, your phone, or anything of that sort in here. And it has the certification for, from St. Laurent. And this has a very similar design with the St. Laurent Paris uh, name on here it's very subtle which is what I love about this bag and you can unhook it as well through here this is so cute guys and then you can wear it as an evening bag but the thing about this bag is it doesn't have any pockets so it's very different and the inside is very matted I guess if that's the way to describe it. This reminds me of the never full Louis Vuitton bag. Uh, if you look at my previous videos, what's in my work bag, I am using the Louis Vuitton never full. The inside of that bag is cloth, as opposed to this one, it's not cloth. It's literally leather, but it's not the smooth side of the leather, it's the uh, inside part of the leather. So that is one of the biggest difference between the never full and this bag right here. I'm a very petite person, so I don't know why I'm so into big bags, but I carry a lot of big things with me. So I just love uh, huge bags. I have to be able to fit my laptop, everything in it. So guys, so right now uh, we just went over the inside part. I'm so excited to put my stuff in there. So let's just uh, start putting in there and see how it looks with stuff in there. A lot of people complain about how flimsy it is, but I honestly like the effortless look. I have the All Saints black bag. It's like a bucket bag and it's flimsy, but it's a bucket bag. But for some reason, 
the flimsiness of it is like amazing to me but i'm sure when you start putting your laptop in here your water bottle or whatever that you put in here it's gonna stand up so um, and then i forgot to go over this part it does have a a magnetic clip right here as opposed to the louis vuitton never full uh that doesn't have a clip it only it doesn't have a clip so I'm actually going to be transferring all of my work stuff that I'm having for tomorrow on Monday and I will be putting all my work stuff in here. Uh, one thing that I do learn, even though it's like such a nice bag, I try not to put too much heavy stuff in here, but uh, especially my laptop. I have a work laptop bag for this. I just try to keep it separate because these are investment bags. They're very expensive, so why would you, you know bang it up right so let's just go ahead and start putting stuff in here and see how it looks with it uh on all right guys so this is my new saint laurent bag and we're just gonna try to put all of my stuff that's in my louis vuitton never full anyways let's just do a quick comparison while we're here um so this is the louis vuitton never full obviously and it's about the same size if you guys are wondering so if you already own the bag it's almost the same size, same height as well. Um, this is a little stiffer, so it stands up by itself without stuff in it. And that's one of the biggest difference. Right now, this is an empty bag, and it is standing up. So if that makes you feel better, sure. Like I said, I like the flimsiness of this bag. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start taking out the stuff that's in my work bag. Sorry, it's really junky in there, and just transfer it here. All right, so that is bag is empty now and I'm just going to start putting some stuff that I use on a daily basis and put it into this bag right here and let's get started. So I have this right here and I'll just put this away this way and put my makeup bag, my slim makeup bag, my Louis Vuitton slim makeup bag first and then my wallet standing up. So it's starting to stand up by itself and my card holder right here, shades. So um, I'm planning to eventually get an Amazon uh, bag organizer but I like my stuff scattered everywhere. So let's just start putting all this junk into here. <laughs> So with this pouch, I'll probably just go ahead and put my business cards in here and my pens. And it's very roomy. Put that there. And pens. So I carry a lot of pens. Just stuff it in here. Alright guys, so I went ahead and stuffed the bag with my everyday stuff. I don't have my laptop in here, but I can fit it in here, which is great. But I'm not going to have the habit of putting my laptop in here because I don't want to stretch it out or bang it out. So this is how it looks with stuff in here. I do have to take that tag off um, here in a second. So um, let's just see how it looks with it on. Sorry, I'm so short guys. This is so cute right here. And that's how it looks standing up. It's a really big bag I'm a very tiny person so it looks like it's swallowing me but it's amazing so this is the bag right here I just tried it on standing up uh, I love the way it sits especially with stuff in there it still has that flimsy look to it there is an alternative that is within budget by Tory Burch that they just came out with this month. I saw it on there while looking on Nordstrom.com. I'll post that bag below with the Tory Burch. It's a simple black bag. It has several colors like orange, navy, black. You can see on there, but I'll post that link below. And it does have the cover up like this with the emblem as well and it goes down like that but it's the Tory Burch emblem that runs for about $400 the Saint Laurent work tote that we just went over is in the thousand dollars range I think it's a little below it's $9.95 uh, with taxes it goes over a thousand dollars and just to uh, clarify I was not sponsored by Saint Laurent Nordstrom, Nordstrom's or um, Tory Birch whatsoever 
so these are my honest opinions if you're looking to get this bag i love this bag i've been having my eye on this bag i do have the ysl evening bags but i wanted to have something that i could wear every day and i felt like this was the perfect bag that fit my personality i work in corporate sales so you know it's very elegant subtle and it doesn't scream designer so uh, my suggestion is you know if you're that type of girl or lady uh, get this bag and if you do want something that's within your budget i'll post that tory birch bag uh below all right guys so that wraps up my video for today on the Laurent black work tote so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys found it very informative um this is probably one of the work bags that i've been wanting to get my hands on for so long i did buy it from nordstrom.com which is a lot better for me because you know they do have the uh, unlimited return policy as long as it's in good shape as opposed to if you bought it from the Laurent store itself you have 30 days to uh, exchange no money back so uh that is one of the biggest difference between both of the stores so that wraps up my video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for a new video uploaded by me every week and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified whenever i do upload them and don't forget to hit uh that follow button on my instagram account because i know you have an instagram it is leanne on the go i will be posting that link below and if you guys have any video suggestions, please let me know. And I can't wait to see you guys on my next video.